Right, last time we needed to figure out how to get behind the mirror. Um, I've so far I've checked out both of the rooms. Can't seem to find anything I can use. There's got to be something. Anything inside the table? Nope. There is something down the hall, the, the, down the hallway that I missed initially. Just gonna check real quick. Nah, I just came back to the very, to the very beginning. Actually, I didn't miss anything. All I had to do basically was to examine it properly and then it shows that she has a screwdriver which I couldn't see in the inventory before. There we go. All done. Easy fix. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, basically has a camera in every single room, which is obvious. Let's look into the future. Ooh, that didn't sound nice. So every single mirror in the house is basically like a small spy window. Jesus, there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, which was already pretty obvious. Who is that guy? Huh. Luckily for her, the guy couldn't see her. Wait, no! Is that Charles? Shit!
Unless I'm mistaken, I really hope that's not Charles, but it uh, seems like it. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh oh. Wait, what? What happened? I was just listening to the recording, how come there is an alarm? Such a weird skip. Maybe... Maybe whatever happened was included in the cutscene and I skipped it, so... Stay close to me. Oh, that book again. Who says self-help books don't work? Charlie threw it down here earlier. Of course he did. Lucky. It's a recording of someone who used to be in this house. Hello? Is that someone's cat? Can you hear me? Not much we can do here. Not gonna read all that. It's coming. 
from through here. Connie. Just want to get all of the clues first before we go there. Okay, nothing happens. Can't even turn it around. This must be the room where the little girl stayed before the guy and the girl ran away. Oh, so the killer's grave got robbed. Nice. <laughs> huh. So... Must be one of the passwords from before. That we've seen on the mannequins and stuff. No? What about... Uh-huh. Still not? Last try. Should be around here somewhere. Can I turn the doll around? Bethany. Was that in the sign in book? Please stop crying, Mommy. So where is daddy? Wonder if the daddy is the killer. Hey, 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 come on, come on. Okay, that's cool. And this is probably where we'll find the password. Yep, 1999. Nice. Hey, oops, my bad. There we go. Okay, nothing we can use in this room. Oh, except for... Let's see what the future holds for us. I 
was pretty obvious she's not gonna be alive. How come the guy didn't even bother to check? There must have, like, you know, after the bunny burns, should have had some um, remains. But the guy is just like, huh, oh, okay. I can't say he's the best character, but he's like the most... He still made so many stupid decisions, but at least I'm happy he's alive. Something tells me I will have to keep hiding from the guy. Just need to be careful. The music is becoming more tense as well by the minute. Can I use the card? Oh, or, or lockpick, whatever. I keep collecting these coins, but I still have no idea what to do with them. There we go. You know what? I just realized actually. Remember the scene that happened not too long ago where the animatronic mannequin um, was smoking? So the killer thinks that this guy is already dead, so he made a copy of him, like a replica of him. be a huge surprise for the killer. There we go. There we go. Please, 
Not much he could do if he just wanted your parts, dude. No! Please! Just leave them alone! Yes, he made some notes for himself where to get parts. Yoink. Um, does that mean I need to switch off the lights first? Just wanna check anything. A US Marshal. FBI badge. FBI clothing. So yeah, I guess this guy is an ex-FBI agent. See if I can turn up the lights again. Yellow. At some point, I think I need to jump off. Fly hell. Rest in peace, dude. Need to fix that. Of course I'm gonna hide. There's no way of going back now. It's gonna be a bit difficult to escape that. Escape from that. All of their belongings, basically. Uh oh. Stay calm. to keep a souvenir that's convenient Oh, 
hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. It's like a nerve center for the whole building. It's a director's suite. Maybe we could use it to find a way out. Look for something to unlock the outer doors. This all connect. This is how he's getting around the house. we saw murdered. Was it set up? There was no groundskeeper. Why would he do that? To scare us. To get us in the mood for his fun and games. Nice. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured thing. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't... Yet another trophy of one of his victims, this time it was the cop. What do you think it is? I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. What's the difference? Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. He's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from the Twilight Prairie Herald. I tried to call you a couple of times. The map of the building. Over here. So the guy's name is Mr. Monday, I think. Well, it's pretty obvious, yeah, Look from the clues. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. I'll play the Mets game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Jamie's right. Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go 
down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of it. He'd be stuck. So, how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be Faith. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No, no, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, I'm not super into doing it. But I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances. Who's gonna do it? It's my plan. Do I need to choose? I'll be the bait. Jamie, no. Let's find another way. You don't have to do this. One of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Hopefully that's the right decision. Please come back. That's my plan. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Be careful, please. I'm on it. You'll be careful? If I see Demet, he'll wish I hadn't. Don't. Be serious, please. Just tell me you'll be careful. Tell me I'll see you again. Aaron, I promise. You'll see me again. Good, because I think I, I think I love you. Or something. I, I mean... Well, now I have to come back. So romantic. Always at the right time. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Thank you. Was this on the map? Uh, good question, because I don't really remember the map. You said head to the right, right? Am I missing anything? Please, no jump scare. <laughs> Getting scared of my own reflection. More rooms being built. Yeah, because there's more and more people coming in, falling for the same trick. So he keeps building his artificial family. Noise. At certain point, I should be able to do, I should be able to use those coins or to do something with them. There we go. I think 
You know what I think? I think the guy is doing this on purpose, like he uh, gives, them them a, gives them a sense of control, but actually he's the one in control. He's just playing with them. He wanted them to see the room and everything else. Guy is just chilling. Um, bluff. Stay the fuck away from me. No. no yes, she lived. That was close. Wait, is she the one who's trapped now? Uh oh. The guy is not surprised at all. How can you trip? There is nothing there. Getting separated again. got your answer. So we'll have to pick again. I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. Really? I won't kill you. I'm sorry. Wait. I wasn't... I didn't mean to press that. I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have had. Please. I don't want to die. How the fuck do you do this? Fuck you, Jamie! Oh. No, this is not, not like 
I'm fixing that. Just not gonna do anything. Yeah, just don't do anything, come on. Good job. Jamie? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Look out for Aaron, for me, I promise. I promise. Oh, fuck. Jamie! Thank you. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Perhaps you'd like another? Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. I don't remember this the first. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress, as always, watching very closely. Oh, she's still alive. Nice. That was useful. That is a super screwdriver. <laughs> Managed to withstand all of that pressure. Come on. Aaron, what happened to you guys? We're both alive. That's all that matters. There he is! Oh yeah, I completely forgot about him. <laughs> you know, after playing uh, for a while as one character, you just like sometimes forget what happened to the other one. There's Johnny. Thank you. 
Screw you, dude. Huh? I don't know what it is with this game, but sometimes there's like sudden cuts, I'm not doing anything, it just happens on its own. Use the crystal to come down. Jesus, how many times I need to calm her down? Don't freak out. Should probably stay because if you run, I mean, he didn't go that far. Oh. Hide, 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 hide. Guys, so chill. Of course, I'm, of course I'm gonna save her, what the hell? Oh no! Oh shit! We.
Yay! See you later, dude. <laughs> Fucking idiot. I hope he's done for. Can we finally see his face? I, I take back all the times I called you bitch face. You're my fucking hero, King. I figured if I let you die, you... You'd haunt me. You're nice excuse. You okay? I wonder if I... it's someone we know. Yeah. I think so. Maybe there's gonna be some kind of oh, big yes. reveal. Suck it, Dumet. It's not Dumet. Dumet. Rot in hell, asshole. Aren't you gonna at least remove his mask to see who's underneath? What? <laughs> He's completely fine. Keep going! Hurry up! Like the decision making of the characters in this game, like, dude, it's You said it yourself, you wanna know who committed all of these crimes, yeah, why don't you look underneath the mask? Like I'm just speechless. And make sure he's dead or something, or if he's alive, like, restrain him. I'm pretty sure the game would have been over if, the like, in five minutes, if the characters were making the right decisions all the time. This music. Trying really hard to make you scared or stressed. Baron, you all right? I got lucky. So I guess we're going there. A dead end. Great. Just wait. We're dead. We're so dead. Come on, don't be that so negative. What is this? Ah, right, it's her thing. Maybe I can use it to to find a way out as well. Well, I guess they got their story of their lifetimes, especially Charles. OK. 
Okay, almost there, I guess. Listen, there's something I noticed about Junet. What? Okay, listen, when I was a kid, I didn't speak much. Big surprise. No, I mean, like, at all. They called it selectively mute. Like, I could talk, but I chose not to. And what's that got to do with Dumet? We've never heard his voice. So... One of the things they said about it, the psychologists, was that I was hiding. That I was scared that if I spoke, I would give away my identity. That's the same as Dumet. Obviously, he wants to disguise who he is. No, it's more than that. There's a conflict in his identity. He doesn't even know who he is. It's like he's caught between being two people. Or he's trying to separate the killer from the regular guy he is the rest of the time. Maybe. Well, good thing you didn't become a killer. Give me time. Hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. If the guy has split personalities, it can be really interesting to see who he really is. Okay. I guess I'll be keeping that, just power up the control box. Oh. Okay, doke. Maybe we can get this thing working. 